This is what about 300 days of game development looks like, and specifically 300 days of learning game development, and not necessarily 300 days of efficient learning at that. This animation was created by Git Story, link in the description, that animates all of your Git commits for a given repository. Now, if you aren't familiar with Git or GitHub, it's a source control system. Basically, it's like a Google Doc, but for code. As long as you can log in, you can pretty much get your code from anywhere, and just like Google Docs changes timeline, you can look through all of the changes you've made from your commits and roll back to a previous version if needed. Now in terms of learning game development, I started back in September 2021 after watching a bunch of game dev YouTube videos and really just getting inspired. I did know how to code, which was definitely a benefit, but I was completely new to Unity and game development and design. And that very first project I started in Unity is still the same project I've been working in. I didn't create any smaller test games or anything, which was probably not the best idea looking back. But tutorial after tutorial, I found myself slowly getting more confident, though I still definitely look up tutorials and guides pretty much all the time. Now 300 days of game development sounds like a lot, and I'm sure a more experienced game developer could pump out some really amazing games in a fraction of that time. But to me, this has been not only a project I want to release, but also an immense learning experience. From not knowing anything about the Unity editor, to implementing advanced NPC behavior systems. And I wish I could work on my game for more time, but I also work full time and regularly make videos for this channel as well as just the random things that come up in regular life. And that brings me to this YouTube channel and my devlogs. The purpose of my devlogs are not only to show recent development of my game Muster, but also to document the ongoing learning process. I love getting suggestions in the comments of ways to improve or systems to redesign, because although it might sound like I know what I'm talking about, I really don't. This video isn't meant to go into a lot of depth regarding the specifics of my game. If you're interested in that sort of stuff, check out a bunch of my previous devlogs, but rather give a holistic perspective from my game development journey, but more specifically, my learning journey. And that's why I love this animation. It shows that with each commit, the game gets a little better most of the time, and I learn a little bit more. And when we zoom out, you can see what a long journey it's been, but incredibly fun. I'm working on other devlogs and game development retrospective videos, as well as some other personal videos, but I hope you enjoyed this quick portrayal and illustration of over 300 days of learning game development. Thank you all for watching. My name is Michael. We make computer science, college advice, career advice, tech, game development videos on this channel. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing, like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. As I said, I'm working on some other game development videos as well as some personal life update videos and some other career type videos. If you have any suggestions for future videos you might want to see, comment them down below. If you have any tips for learning game development or systems I should look at, definitely comment them down below because, again, I don't really know what I'm doing. But we do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly, and check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. That's all from me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.